All right, I think I might have spotted it. Wow, look at that. Very own branded van. That's actually pretty cool, isn't it? Follow us on Twitter at SoccerAM. Not sure Vauxhall understand what kind of a driver I am. This could be quite interesting. That's a good start. There's <laughs> like a mixture between Cat who's in the van in front of us and some random builder somewhere along the M20. So Peter's decided to take over as the more responsible driver out of the two of us. I don't quite agree with that. However, I don't like the responsibility of getting on a ferry because I think it's overwhelming. There's a load of lads! Oh look! England fans! Way! Alright, we spotted our first England fans. <laughs> Comfy up there, Laura. Oh. Go on, Alex. We love testing. We love deadlines. We got our passports. We're off to France. This is Carl. Carl, on a scale of one to ten, how big a football fan do you are? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> How devoted are you to your country? Very. Do you have tickets for a game? <laughs> well, we, watched, we did that, but we left two at all. <laughs> we left two at all. We are the only vehicles that have been stopped. Genuinely, look, there's a stop sign that's been put in front of our van. Thanks for moving and it. And we are the last people to leave. He's taking it. Thank you, sir. It might just look like an ordinary bike. However, this thing has three gears. Low, medium, and turbo. How'd you get turbo work? How'd you get turbo work? Turbo, turbo! 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 Alex is just oh, KO'd the <laughs> So we're now just the five hours outside of Marseille, ahead of England's opening match against Russia. And up ahead somewhere, we managed to spot a camper van with a St George's flag out the back of it. So I'm doing my best to try and track it down. So we started to look at general people in traffic jams and find out if there's uh, anyone We could build their story, couldn't we? We could build them up, we could make them famous. There is a guy in this lane here who looks slightly suspicious. Oh, he's, he's got a cool car. Oh, oh he flicked his there. booger out the window. Oh, God, look at him. Oh. <laughs> You've been caught on camera! This is the most exciting thing that's happened to us all day. We're nearly level with the English camper van. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Are they moving into our lane? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't handle this. Here they are! Hey! Hey! <laughs> How are you? We've been stalking you. Oh, oh hello! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in Marseille. Alright, we finally made it into Marseille ahead of the England Russian game. Quarter past eight, the game starts at nine, and we're only just leaving Marseille because dinner overran a little bit. We overindulged in pizza, so apparently, we need to go and get the metro. Apparently, we need to go get the metro because that's the quickest way there. The metro. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we've managed to find a taxi, so we're on our way. Hello, sir. Bonjour. Ellen. Bonjour. Bonjour. There. Hey. <laughs> Alex. Hey. On our way. Okay, so we're walking down the road. We're almost at the velodrome for uh, England, Russia. This is Owen. Owen, what's your score prediction? Uh, I think England are going to smash it 4-1. Oh, I'm, I'm an optimist. It's my first England game. <laughs> I want to see lots of goals. <laughs> Alex, what do you think? I reckon 1-0. One 1-0. One Who's going to score? Yeah. Um, Harry Kane. It's got to be Kane. him. All right, so this is the bit where we all split up. So, girls, you're going one way, aren't you? Yes. You we will see you after the game. A little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm all excited, right. a bit nervous. I don't know what to feel. <laughs> all right, girls, have a good game. We'll see you later. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye. More importantly, I'm going to buy an England beret. Bonjour. A beret. That was not bad. I've got my ticket. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Good match. Good match. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Alright, so all in all, a pretty dull game, especially dull first half. When it was all looking up for England, dying seconds of the game, they obviously equalised, didn't they?